Hello, dear AI enthusiasts. Today I have sensational news for you because OpenAI has just released a truly astonishing update. The new agents API will completely change how developers work with artificial intelligence. What exactly is behind it and why Chinese competitors like Manus are already striking back? You'll find out in this video. It's going to be wild. But before we dive into the details, let's take a quick look back. Since ChatGPT came to market at the end of 2022, OpenAI has continuously added new features starting from simple text responses to multimodal capabilities like image and audio recognition. But the tools announced now represent a gigantic leap forward. Imagine a system that not only simply answers questions, but independently and completely autonomously completes tasks for you. The definition is crystal clear. An agent is a system that can act independently to complete tasks on your behalf. And open A, I has now finally provided the tools for developers to do just that. Let's take a look at the three new main features that OpenAI has released. And first, the web search tool. Finally, developers can access the same search system that ChatGPT uses. The special feature, OpenAI has specifically fine-tuned GPT-4 and GPT-4 mini models for this. These are incredibly good at searching through huge amounts of web data, filtering out the relevant information, and then precisely citing them in the answers. In benchmarks like Simple QA, GPT-4 achieves breathtaking 90% accuracy with this search function. That's absolute state of the art. Second, the file search tool. With this, developers can upload their own documents, PDFs, and other files into a vector store and perform specialized queries on them. What's new here is primarily that metadata filtering is now possible. You can add attributes to your files and thus specifically search only the most relevant content. The scenario is a large company has thousands of customer contracts stored as PDFs. With the file search tool, they can now tag these with labels like premium customer or contract renewal 2024. When a query comes in like, show me all premium customers whose contracts expire in 2024, the system can specifically filter out exactly these documents without having to dig through the entire mountain of data. Additionally, there is now a direct search endpoint that allows you to search your vector stores without the queries being filtered through the model first. This saves time and resources. And third, and this is the absolute knockout for me, the computer use tool. It's like this, the A, I can literally control your computer. Move the mouse, press keys, click on buttons, everything you would do manually. This is particularly exciting for virtual machines or legacy applications that don't have API interfaces. Here's a concrete example from the OpenAI demo. The agent was tasked with ordering a Patagonia jacket. It independently opened the browser, navigated to the Patagonia website, searched for black jackets, filtered the results, selected a suitable jacket, and added it to the cart. All based on the simple instruction, find a black Patagonia jacket for me. No further intermediate steps or instructions needed. The technology behind it is amazingly simple. The AI takes a screenshot, analyzes it, decides what action it wants to perform, such as clicking a button, executes it, takes a new screenshot, and repeats the process until the task is completed. Like an invisible assistant sitting at your computer. But that's not all. OpenAI has completely revised the API architecture and presents the new Responses API. This combines chat completions with tool functions, all in a single API call. This means you can have multiple tools used in a single request and receive a coherent response. The existing chat completions API will remain, but the assistance API will be discontinued by mid-2026. Let's start with the advantages of the OpenAI Agents API. First, OpenAI is an established brand with massive Microsoft support behind it. Second, they have demonstrably robust models that have been extensively tested. Third, they enjoy the trust of Western companies and offer better legal clarity. And fourth, they provide transparent tracing tools for debugging and monitoring. But of course, there are also disadvantages. The OpenAI Agents API has higher costs than many alternatives on the market. The computer use tool is still very buggy and achieves only a 38% success rate. Additionally, OpenAI has comparatively slow development cycles when compared to agile startups. And last but not least, there is a certain dependency on the OpenAI ecosystem, which can partly lead to vendor lock-in. Let's look at the advantages of Manis AI in comparison. Manis allegedly offers higher autonomy for complex tasks, they have a potentially much cheaper price structure, their innovation cycles are faster than those of larger companies. And through the Alibaba partnership, they have access to massive resources. 
but Manis also has its weaknesses. There is less transparency regarding security measures and data protection. There are potential concerns regarding Western data protection standards. Their products are not yet as extensively tested and verified as those from OpenAI. And finally, there is limited availability outside of Asia. The timing question is interesting. Has OpenAI hastily published these functions to respond to the increasing rumors about Chinese AI progress? Does this new wave of features actually shift the needle or is it just a patch to buy time? Another important factor is the price. While OpenAI's solution may be appropriate for businesses, some Chinese startups claim they can offer the same or better performance at a fraction of the cost. If this proves true on a large scale, it could be a decisive factor for cost-oriented companies. By the way, OpenAI itself warns that their computer use model achieves only about 38.1% success on the OS world benchmark, an indication that this technology is still in its infancy and by no means works flawlessly. They therefore recommend human supervision, while the marketing from Manus or DeepSeek emphasizes how their systems can handle tasks with minimal supervision. We are in the midst of a budding AI arms race, with OpenAI frantically looking for advantages and unveiling new APIs and tools, while Chinese startups like Manus and DeepSeek are advancing at breathtaking speed. It's a clear sign that AI has evolved from mere chatbots to autonomous agents that can accomplish entire tasks with minimal guidance. What do you think? Is OpenAI's new agents API the big breakthrough, or will companies like Manus AI with their Alibaba partnership have the edge? Will the market divide between Western and Eastern solutions, or will one side prevail? I'm looking forward to your opinions in the comments. What use cases do you see for these new agent functions? Have you perhaps already had experience with the original Swarm framework on which the new agents SDK is based? I find it particularly interesting how this development could affect the job market. If AI agents can actually autonomously take over entire work processes, be it research, data analysis, or even interaction with software. Which jobs will be affected first? Or does this technology create new types of jobs that we can't even imagine today? Another important aspect is data security. If these agents surf the internet or access company data, what security measures must be implemented? Open A, I talks about guardrails, but is that enough to protect sensitive data? And last but not least, what does this development mean for the global AI landscape? Will we experience an increasing division between Western and Eastern AI ecosystems? Did you like the video? If you liked this update, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you activate the bell, you'll even be informed when we upload a new video. I hope to see you next time. Until then, stay real.